Next thing you're going to do is just make this up into the bag. So we are going to come along and we are going to place this on the side of our bag just like this and we're going to pin it all the way around. And that bit's going to come in all the way, pinning it all the way around. When you get to these pieces you do need to sort of like wiggle them around to get them into place. Okay, so you can put an extra few pins in there, one in that one, one in that one. Keep that mostly laying flat. The more pins you can get into it, the better that's going to lay. Put another one in there, I think, and another one in there. Just to hold them into position. Like that. And like that. Okay, so as you know, this is the um, practice video, which I do just before I do anything. So it was... Um, an inch and a half too small so I've just gone back and altered it that's why it's got colour on both sides I've just added a piece of an extra piece in there but put a whole piece uh, for the inside so I've just added it and made it the right size and now we're just coming in and finishing off that pinning so that's where we just sort of got to and I carried on around um, and I'm just going to come in and finish off the rest of this pinning now I do see there was a lump there. I don't want any lumpy bits when I'm going through this part. I want to keep this nice and flat. Okay, so I'm going to just come in and I'm going to sort of, like, as I come around while I'm doing it, I'm going to move that around so that we don't get any lumps or bumps sort of sticking into it. Okay, so I'm just going to pin the whole of that up like that. There we go. It's pretty simple. Put that one a pin in the top there. It's really hard when you're just making out your head to know the exact measurements, so that's where I am. That's, and I thought I had it right and I sort of worked it out, but then when I came to it, it was just that little bit short, so you won't actually see any of that because this will be the inside of your bag. You have both white pieces coming on to that side there, so lay it down so that you're white pieces on the bottom and then come around otherwise you're going to have you'll have the um, fleece as your lining of your bag rather than the lining so let's just come in I'm this um my brain is just not working this covid is made me like an idiot <laughs> I just can't think straight I've been trying to do like 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes max, that's all I've done, and I'll just keep doing mistakes. My brain, it's like being in a fog. That's the only way I can describe it. It's um, like just constantly not being able to clarify your thoughts or, or you know, um, sort of get at your reasoning right there's no sort of like um way to sort of work out what, the, what you're thinking about properly right so that's that side done and i'm going to start from this side because if i start if i carry on around and leave that hole i might not get it lined up properly here so i'm going to come back down from the top now so that that hole in the middle will just um be hopefully uh, marry up nicely when we come to do the inside piece. So we're just coming around here. All right. There we are. Keep that nice and low. So I'm just gonna wiggle this between my two fingers. Just like that. There, until I've got that nice and straight, so it's straight on the bottom and it's straight on the top. Put my other pin back in once I've done that. One and two, and then come around again. So I'm just here, and I'm just going to come around again, and I'm going to wiggle that again. There, 
And I think I'll get one more pin in before, and then I'll leave enough room so that it can be turned out like so. So you've got that much room there to turn it out through. Okay. So that's the bag inside. So that's all ready to go. So I'm going to take it now, backstitch all the way around and backstitch to finish that one off. Okay, so I've just joined a piece of fabric in the middle. Hopefully this will work. Let's have a look. I forgot I'd do that because this isn't going to actually be, this is just my test one which I had anyway. So I'm not actually going to be um, doing anything with it. So I'm just going to come in. This is about the last I have enough fabric to do two bags for the girls, so as a, it'll, this will end up for a bag for my grandson. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> if he wants it, he cuts quite like baby animals and things like that. So you can now take this to the sewing machine. Oh, I carried on doing that, didn't I? What am I doing? I was on the phone and I've just carried on pinning it. Anyway, right, okay, I've pinned all the way around like that. You can carry on pinning it if you like. Or you can pin this piece if you want to next and then do them both at the same time, which is what I'm going to do. So make sure you've got the fabric facing upwards. Otherwise we'll be in that situation we were in just a minute ago. Come in like that. That was just my son wishing me Happy Mother's Day, dear of him. I'll just pin a bit. He's been at an octopus competition for underwater hockey. Um, that she plays. They've been away for the weekend. Uh, they don't live here. Unfortunately, the, the, my girls and my niece live here, but my nephew. Uh, my son and his partner, soon to be wife, um, they live up in, uh, up just but be before London and they all work in private school up there. So uh, they're all teachers, which is nice, at least they're close to each other, they're not on top of each other. Uh, I think Cole lives about 30 minutes away or something like that, so. But they get to see each other and we'll be going up soon. We try and go up as often as we can. It's not as easy, obviously, seeing the others. They haven't got any children at the moment, any of them, so. Um, it's nice that they can just be up there, away from everybody and have their own life at the moment. I don't know how they will manage when they get their children through childcare and that type of thing. It's not easy, um, you know, to be able to afford nowadays. It's very expensive. I think we pay £60. It, was, well, it would be £60 a day for the baby to go to nurse if she went all day. Um, she usually just does a half a day on the day her mum works, so which is quite nice. Um, the others are now in school. I go to school full time, so it's just in the holidays with uh, they, them. So we only have them in the holidays. So that's quite nice because you get to have um, a chance to be do special things with them as well. We try and always make sure during the holidays we get to do go do different do different activities and that sort of thing, right? Okay, well I've just come around and that one is just not meeting up, so I'm just come take a few out because I think there's a lump there where I've not quite pulled it straight. Let's just come around again. Last time what I did was I came around from this side. That's better. Pop that one in there. That's it. from that way and see if that helps because that's fitted absolutely beautiful on that side so it's got to put it on this side because it's the same piece of fabric I thought there was a bit of a gap in the bottom 
Okay, so let's just pin all that around. Coming into here, making sure this is set nice and flat on that. And we're going around that curved edge there at the corner. Don't be afraid to take your pins out and do it again if that happens. It's better to do it at this point than to get to the sewing machine and then have to unpick. It's such a pain if you've got to unpick. That's better. I think that's better now. Oops. Make sure those two pieces are stitching together. That's better. There. Okay. Open that piece out. Yeah, that's better. That's coming in there much better now. Into those two pieces. And then there and there. Make sure those bits are held down. Obviously you won't have those pieces, you'll just have one continuous piece all the way around. There you go. Right, so that's that. So that, that's what it should look like. You should have your colours, pieces on the inside, so we're going to take that to the machine out and stitch it. So it's all pinned together. I'm just going to come in now and we're going to do the, um, join this up. I'm going to pop it on there and we're going to do it every eighths of an inch all the way around, okay? So just going to take our time. Back stitch. And I'm just going to go all the way around. You want to keep it as flat as you possibly can. So when you get around to these curved bits, you're going to sort of want to wiggle it underneath so it's all laying nice and flat. I've got my needle in my down position, so if I want to move it, I can, but I'm going to try and move it just by gently turning it like that. And I'm doing it at three eighths of an inch but I'm sitting the three eight the edge of it on the edge of the basket here. Uh, on the edge of the stitch line there because I'm on the batting obviously the yellow is on that stitch line so my yellow if you have a look is just slightly underneath that that's just the edge of it the actual stitches here because you'll end up with the stitches breaking and whether whilst that won't be a problem now we have stitched it obviously before it would have just all come unraveled So that the edge of the foot is touching the edge of those yellow stitches. Whatever the stitches you're doing. Just take your time as you come around these pieces. We want these pieces to come so that they are laying nice and flat. Down and out. Just lift that pin out and that lay nicely. And again. Now we're just coming up to this piece. So obviously, on the other side, we went all the way around, but here we're going to leave an opening. 
back steps there. Lift it. We're going to leave an opening and this is where we're going to leave the opening so that we can turn the whole thing the right way around. So we're going to come here, drop that down there, and we're just going to come in around and get this nice and straight around that part there. best I can so that you can see it without my hand in the way it's not easy <laughs> This one, we're not going to leave a hole in this one, we're just going to go all the way around, and this will be the outside of your bag. This way around with my pins facing inwards underneath at the moment because I've stabbed myself so many times with the pins today. I thought oh, I'll just do it this way, maybe that'll stop me getting so stabbed so many times. These are really sharp, they're new, and gosh, they are sharp. Ones so you can iron over them so it makes it really useful for when you actually if you've got like very fiddly bits you need to do And you see I've got a tiny bit over there when I get that to the table if you end up doing that do all your sewing and just go up and trim that little bit off it's like it's less than a quarter of an inch um, I don't know how I manage that because all the other bits on the other side fit it absolutely fine so on that side whether I'd cut it wrong and it was at an angle or something so I just need to trim it Sometimes when you cut it, the fabric moves, so maybe it was it on a slope or something. When I cut it. Put some flat on the bottom as well as the top.
two pieces of eye gloss. Take those back to the table and pin those together. <laughs> 